Christian Vocabulary Part 5. Today the words I'm going to discuss are macabre, narcissist, obdurate. Let's come to the first word that is macabre. In British English it is macabre and in American English it is macabre. The meaning of this word is gruesome or you may say that the meaning of this word is cruel. Okay, now I'm going to make a sentence of this so that you will be able to understand this in a better way. His criminal mind can be assessed by this fact that he enjoys movies revolving around macabre series of events and murders. The second word that I'm going to discuss is narcissist. The meaning of this word is a conceited person, a self-praiser, a selfish person. Okay, now let's make a sentence of this word narcissist to make it better in understanding. Narcissist Sarah when the professor was emphasizing on being humble and selfless. I try to make sentences that makes the word easy to understand. For example, in this sentence, it is being discussed that Sarah is having a bad habit of being narcissist. On the other hand, the professor is emphasizing on a very good quality that is being humble and selfless. Okay? Last word that I'm going to discuss is obdurate. In British English, it is pronounced as obdurate with the j sound over here. Okay? So, I preferentially discuss the British English because we Pakistani follow this British English, British accent. The meaning of this word is stubborn, refusing to change one's belief. That person is uh, stubborn on his or her opinion and he is not going to change that opinion. Now let's make a sentence so that you'll get a better idea of the meaning of this word, obdurate. quite obdurate to any public opinion and investigate the matter themselves. So here one of the uh, kind of uh, habit of a persecutor is discussed that they are obdurate and they won't be uh, listening to anyone's opinion. They won't be uh, influenced by anyone's opinion. These are the three fancy words that I have discussed today. So there is a homework for you and in that homework you are going to write three sentences, three easy sentences of these words. And we're going to uh, comment that in the comment section. In this way, you'll make uh, the sentences uh, with your own ability. And in this way, you'll get the meaning of these words. Okay. 